Hi, Brian Schaefer, City of Spokane Fire Chief. 2021 was an absolutely incredible year, full of challenges, but the most amazing thing is our firefighters rescued six community members from working structure fires. I wanna bring you one story about off-duty Lieutenant Josh Sampson, who was notified by Pulse Point and risked his life to save another human being here in the city of Spokane. My mother has a beautiful home on the South Hill in Spokane, and um, she's elderly, but she wanted to live in that house forever. I am Darlene's caregiver, and so I would come over every day and do some care at her house. On July 4th, which is a day known for fires, her wooden deck caught fire. I had been over that day after church and gave her a shower and settled her in, and I realized after I got home, about 10 minutes from here, that I had left my phone fire started marching into the house. She's hard of hearing. She could not hear the um, many alarms I had installed. <laughs> so we came down into the driveway and the driveway goes like this and then turns and the entire deck was in flames. I asked my husband to call 911. I was home getting ready to go to the baseball game, 4th of July this last summer. I heard the familiar pulse point tones. Looked down at my phone and realized not too far away from my house. Some guy showed up and it turned out his name is Josh and he's a firefighter. When I got up to the front on the address side, I realized there was a, there was a lady knocking on the window, um, calling out to have Darlene come, come, to the, come to the sound of her voice, come to the front of the house. All of a sudden, this young man just comes down and he's like, is there anyone in the house? And I said, yes, there is. You know, and I explained who it was and that she was disabled and um, frail. And he said, are there any animals? And I told him where she was at in the house. And he just went up to that door <laughs> and he just gave it one swift kick right in the center of the door. And that door just popped. I could see that the uh, smoke is banked down pretty good knee height, waist height, somewhere in there. So I dropped down to look into the house to see if I could see if I could see anything. Um, and kind of back towards the middle of the house, 10, 12, 14 feet in there, something in there, I could see the uh, homeowner's legs. She was standing up in the smoke um, in there. So I put my phone in my pocket and I uh, went inside and grabbed her and she was very disoriented. He runs right into this fire with smoke. You could not see the flames there, but it was completely black. And he grabs her and she's holding on to the sides, to the hutch, to the wall. Grabbed her by the arms and then the, the nurse grabbed her, grabbed her knees and we picked her up and we carried her across the front yard. She was being overcome by the smoke and I think we were within minutes of losing her, which is terrifying to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You did a great job, too. Thank you. Amazing. I was really impressed. Josh, you saved my mother's life. Oh. I, I came so close to losing my mother. The house we are repairing, but you can't replace a mother. Really great that we got an opportunity to meet Josh today and give him hugs and tell him how grateful we were that he came. Um, you know, although he was off duty, he came running down and risked his self, his body, his self by running into that home and getting her out. It's amazing. Glad it being a good outcome. Um, glad I was only two and a half blocks away and was able to get there in time and actually make a positive difference on it. It's thanks to him that she's still alive. Him and our, our dear friend Patty, uh, they got her out together, but he went into the smoke filled room because by then my mother was being overcome by smoke. And it's just amazing to me.